Last night, Mamaroneck residents continued to express their concerns about the proposed commuter parking law at the town council meeting. The issues of limited car space and children's safety were amongst the topics brought to the council's attention. The board listened intently and provided an update on the legislation. I've had a couple of experiences, including trying to get my 92-year-old mother out of my house and into a car. So from the time that I parked the car in front of my own house, walked in, turned around and got my mother out, I had a parking enforcement person there giving me a ticket. I mean, I have no other way of getting my 92-year-old mother into a car other than having to walk across the street, which made no sense. And recently, my daughter comes with her two kids, two babies. She unloading the kids, unloading the stroller, unloading her diaper bag, gets in the car, house, goes out to get her car, $25 ticket. There has to be a way to make it more pleasant to live here. We will not move forward with the proposed law. We have heard from everyone. We have taken into the account everyone's comments. We have agreed with you that it does not seem wise to create this law and in such a wide fashion. We will continue with our regular process, Doug, that we have done for over 20 years that if a specific street has a problem and they come to the town board, we will ask them to go to the traffic committee. We will ask the traffic committee for rec Also during last night's meeting, an update on the proposed reusable bag law was discussed amongst the town council and residents. The legislation states for retail establishments to make the shift to reusable bags. Town Supervisor Nancy Seligson says this initiative will benefit the overall health and safety of the town and the environment. The town is proposing to move forward with this law now because we have been uh, working on this law for a very, very long time and we'd like to get it uh, moving and we'd like to help encourage people transfer to reusable bags and we have 3,000 reusable bags that have been donated to the town. Some of them are really cute too. I would hope our county legislature and the county legislatures that represent our area could get together and I would think an effort should be made to unify the law amongst the county and then let our law lapse and, de and deal with it because there's a nuance here, a nuance there, and you end up with a confusing patchwork. I so like the law, love the law, more power to you, but it, it should be uniform. Uh, thanks. I, I just will... Uh, reiterate what I said earlier that the state has passed a law that will be statewide um, and it's supposed to go into effect March of 2020. Our law will it adhere to the state law except for that the remittance of the fee. So no, the state law supersedes local laws. So it is it, there will be once the state law goes into effect, there will be a uniform law.